Globally, energy usage is at an all-time high. According to a report, the building sector consumes about 40% of all energy produced. In Ghana, due to the rapid rate of urbanization and population growth, there is an increase in demand for buildings. The operation and construction of these buildings leads to an increase in energy consumption, which contributes to the total amount of energy the building sector consumes worldwide. Hi, I'm Yada Okuma Amate, here with my colleague, Augustine you know, Osei Tabi, and Justice Ahe Bentel. In the building sector, there is high energy consumption focus on cooling systems than that of lighting equipment, which is also a major factor affecting energy consumption, especially in buildings that does not make use of cooling systems. We use lights in our daily activities, both in our homes and in our offices. These lights tend to stay on with constant brightness throughout the day, regardless of the amount of daylight coming in the building. This made us base our research to minimize this issue by creating a possible solution. With the use of Arduino automation, we aim to reduce the rate at which light consumes energy, taking advantage of the amount of daylight coming in the building. With the use of straw boards, we built a scaled-down model of an already existing office on the KNUSC campus. The models are fitted with LEDs, an Arduino Uno microcontroller, an SD card reader, and a photoresistor only for the automated model. The code was written with a variant of the C++ language on the Arduino IDE. The code was written such that any light falling on the photoresistor directly impacts the LED. With the use of the map function, we made the LEDs react inversely to any light falling on the photoresistor. Therefore, if the light falling on the photoresistor is high, the LEDs automatically dim. And if the light falling on the photoresistor is low, the LED brightness goes high. This tech seamlessly supplements daylight and leads to adequate lighting throughout the occupancy period of the office. This leads to an efficient usage of energy, which can be significantly observed over a period of time. With the aid of an Arduino SD model, we are able to record the voltages and current for both the Arduino automated lighting system and the conventional system. The reading was taken during the occupancy hours, that's eight hours per day for a period of 30 days. We then used Microsoft's Excel spreadsheet to compute the mean values for all the voltages and current taken for each day. This helped us to calculate the energy consumed per day. The result obtained from our Arduino model was promising. Looking at the data recorded, it was clearly unveiled that the Arduino automated system gave lower energy as compared to the conventional system, particularly in environments with fluctuating natural lighting. The highest energy recorded using the Arduino system was lower than the lowest energy recorded using the conventional system. Our system's responsiveness was astonishing. It made a seamless transition from high LED brightness to low LED brightness whilst maintaining optimal lighting levels and at the same time conserving energy. These findings suggest that automation in our lighting systems could be a game changer for building management leading to smarter, more sustainable energy use. In summary, our research showed that the integration of automation in our lighting could significantly improve energy efficiency in building lighting systems, offering a viable solution to problems posed by unautomated systems.